Hi friends, this side Vijay Kumar and you are watching Average Classmate YouTube channel. I am back with another interesting and informative topic today. But before I start, I want to say thank you everybody for giving your love and support to this channel. I have analyzed that one of my video has been watched by more than 10,000 people in 30 days. And the comments which I got on that videos are really nice. These comments means a lot to me. I'm really happy that I am able to help you guys. Link of that video is available in the description below. I would request you must check that. Now let's talk about today's topic. The topic for today is a question which is asked by one of my subscriber. So in this question, basically he is asking how to find missing date from a date column. If you also have a question or a topic which you want me to cover, then simply write in the comment section or if you have any suggestion or if simply you just want to give me a feedback about my videos, something you like, you don't like, or if there is something that I can improve on, anything, it would be very nice if you can write that thing in the comment section. Now let's talk about today's topic. I'm an Excel file and I have a small set of data where I have a column B as an order date. And from this column B, I need to find missing dates. So to find out missing date, is very simple we will take help of one function min min is going to give me the minimum date from this column and one more function max max is going to give me the maximum date of this column that's all what I need now let me just value paste this data perfect now let me just convert this data into number perfect okay so now I will keep my cursor here, go in home tab, go in fill and select this option series and from here make it one, it is already one, keep it one and in this input box I will paste that date which I copied from here and instead of rows I will make it columns, click OK. All my work is done. Now let me just copy this data set and insert one more sheet and paste it and now I will change the format of this column select the column control shift hash and now I will write match function to look up this value is available in the sheet yes or no if available then match will return a position or you can say the row number and if is not available then match will give me hash and a error means not available so equal to match lookup value this comma lookup array would be this comma zero bracket close enter now let's double click here and our work is done almost our work is done now I would say if you see this this wallpaper means this was our starting point and this was our destination so we have covered more than half all right we have just I would say 25% more remaining and our work would be done so what is remaining part let's see now let's first of all filter all the hash na data so let's filter all the hash na from here go and filter all the hash na data now so these are the dates which is not available in sheet 1 let's quickly see that these dates are available or not so we have 12 13 14 gen let's quickly go here and see we after 11 we have 15 we can understand now our function is working really fine and these things are not required anymore now let's take it to the next level if your requirement is to insert the rows between those missing dates so it is very simple now what you will do you will simply copy this not available data and go here and in the end of this order date column you will paste the data that's it now what will you do you will keep your cursor in this particular cell this will open sort window and from here you can provide the input order date and you can keep it as it is oldest to newest hit ok now this way you will have missing dates with blank rows now you can give same formatting to this entire column you can select this column and press ctrl shift hash this will give a same formatting to the entire column so this is how you can play with missing date. Now before I end this video, let me show you a Power BI dashboards on which I'm working right now. 
this is the power bi dashboards market analysis i'm working on very soon you will see end to end video on this power bi dashboard so this is the project on which i'm working right now and in that video everything i'm going to discuss how these buttons i have created and how these charts are working i have used visualizations to highlight the key metrics and findings that are most important to the audience and i have also tried to use the right visualizations to display the informations like bar chart line chart map chart if you find me very first time then i would request you to like this video and subscribe my channel With that said, that's all from my side. उम्मीद है आप लोगों को मजा आया होगा अगर आपको कुछ नया सीखने को मिला है तो वीडियो को लाइक जरूर कीजिएगा शेयर कीजिएगा उनके साथ जो करियर में ग्रोथ चाहते हैं और मेहनत से नहीं घबराते हैं और हाँ अगर ये हमारी पहली मुलाकात है तो नीचे दिए हुए सब्सक्राइब बटन पर जोर से हिट कीजिए आपसे बहुत जल्द मुलाकात होगी विद वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियो के साथ टिल देन कीप स्माइलिंग एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग